Hey guys. How are we all doing? I thought I'd do a video like this again, where I talk to you and just check in, see how things are going. I know we've all struggled. We're all still struggling. You know, Freedom Day came and went yesterday. It wasn't really freedom, was it? Most people still wear masks in shops and the law came in where it's going to be mandatory to have both injections to be able to access a normal life. And they released this information on Freedom Day. Now, no matter your opinion on whether you've been vaccinated or you haven't, taking away that right that is, that is a blatant disregard for human rights. I don't care who you are. You cannot agree with the fact that they're forcing this upon, you know, the population. So if you've got an opinion, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. You know, I don't want to hear oh, pro-vaccination or anti-vaccination. It is your call, it is your responsibility to make up your own mind about your feelings on that topic. I don't want any judgmental comments below. You know, we are here to unite as a human race. To spread the love and positivity is what I try and do. I try and unite people. Share the love, share the positivity that I've grown to know through my journey. This is, this isn't freedom. This is quite the opposite. Anyway, that's enough to do with Freedom Day. I wanted to see how you're doing, whether you've you know, taken on the advice of being in the moment and you know, accepting your surroundings. Up to date, I've had two Reiki sessions both about two hours apiece. And the first one, the first one was interesting because I didn't know what to expect. It was all focused purely on breathing, purely on stopping your brain, thinking about all the worries from yesterday and years ago and all the trauma that everyone has. You know, everyone, like I said before, everyone's, you know, battling something that you know nothing about so be kind always so certainly for me Reiki has really helped just from you know stopping all those thoughts just stopping your brain from over processing overthinking you know you worry about things that you cannot control you couldn't even control them if you wanted to and we do this as, as humans, we, we do this all the time. We go through this where, you know, we overly worry about things. And yeah, okay, well, you're going to worry about certain things. But it's not going to change anything. You know, in my personal life, I've got a lot to worry about. But I try not to... I try and live in the moment because I know worrying isn't going to change anything. You know, sure, I can I can deal with situations as they come along, and I do. And as I'm sure you do too. But I really truly believe by being present and above all, loving yourself. Because if you can love yourself for who you are and what you're about, that changes everything. I know over the last few weeks, months, I sort of took a dip when I lost my own my own confidence in myself and who I am and what I'm doing and what I'm about. But thankfully, I've got that back. And that's through practicing. I don't know, just believing in myself and breathing and being in the moment and accepting, you know, accepting a lot of things, letting go of a lot of things. You know, it's not an easy road. It certainly isn't. You're gonna have dips. You cannot be okay every day. You know, nobody is. 
that are certainly for me. You know, I've always, I've always thought I could be better than who I am. I've always, I've always hated my body. I've always hated, not hated who I am, but I always put myself last. Let's say, and. You know, on the way to my second Reiki session the other day, I got upset because I had this overwhelming feeling of, oh my God, I I love who I am. I actually love myself. And that, that isn't vanity. That isn't, you know, being... What's the word? You know, vain and... Well, I lost the word now, but... Yeah, it's just... You know, I'm uncomfortable in who I am and what I'm about and what I'm trying to do. And if I can change, you know, your perspective on, on things and help you out, then what I'm doing is all the worthwhile. And even if this doesn't change anybody's life, it changes mine. And, you know, it's worth it. It's worth what I'm doing, what I'm going through, the way I'm processing things now, it just gives me a different pair of eyes, a different outlook on life, a different appreciation for every little thing in my life. And it's just all about gratitude. You know, we take so many things for granted, even in the worst possible situation always people in worse situations but again I'm not saying you should think like that too you know if you're going through something if you're going through no matter what trauma it is it is relevant and you have to deal with it in a way that makes you comfortable and nobody can tell you how to do it or when to do it you have to find out by yourself and discover yourself. I mean, yeah, sure, you can watch self-help videos, you can have therapy, you can communicate with anyone. And it might push you in the right direction, it might push you in the wrong direction. But I think I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. And I suppose I can only do that because I, I can now see the positive in, any, in every negative situation I've been in. Yeah, there's always, uh, okay, well, if that didn't happen, then now I wouldn't have this. Or, you know, if things were different, then they wouldn't be as they are today. So, anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that you're doing as well as you can. But yeah, really try just breathe, just breathing. Honestly, it's, it's, it's amazing how many people go through their lives and they breathe so shallow. Even a full chest breath isn't enough. You have to fall down, breathe all the way into your stomach. And then you let go and you find you let go of toxins through your breath. That seem to fester if you don't deep breathe. As crazy as that sounds, you know, it's... You take me back a year, I didn't believe in any of this stuff. None of it. But it is cognitive. You can feel it. And when it changes your life, and you can feel the change, you can't deny it. So... Also know that you're not alone in any struggles. There is always somebody willing to talk to you, to help you. Because sometimes you can't help yourself. I know, I, I've, I've been there. Anyway, hope you well, my friends. And I shall be doing more videos just to check in, see how you are. So you take care of yourself. 
love yourself for who you are and what you are and just live in your full truth that's all I can say so namaste catch you next time